Welcome to the NBA's Greatest Games. Today, we'll take you back into NBA history and relive one of the great matchups as it happened. With Utah down by a point, Stockton rebounded Jordan's miss and found Carl Malone with a pass that will never be forgotten. To be sure, there were other heroes on a night when Utah drew even in the finals. But on this one Sunday in June, John Stockton refused to let his team lose. And in the process, made it clear that the Jazz are a genuine threat to Chicago's fifth title plans. The finals are tied. Game five is... Tonight, it's game five. The Chicago Bulls versus the Utah Jazz. They call it the Decibel Center, and Utah Jazz fans once again looking to emotionally lift their team. It is Bedlam at the Delta Center, Salt Lake City, Utah. We get ready for game five of this best of seven NBA final series. And we welcome you. Hi, everybody. I'm Marv Alvin, along with Matt Gukas and uh, Bill Walton. Now, the big story here tonight, the story concerning Michael Jordan's physical conditions. This Jordan arriving about two hours ago. He is suffering from flu-like symptoms made his way onto the court just moments ago and as you see right here looking a bit shaky he was up all last night spent all day in bed did not eat at all did not uh, go to the shoot around earlier today did not practice so uh, his status is uncertain Ahmad Rashad and Jim Gray will have more on this as the game progresses Matt this on top of the Bulls coming off the extremely uh, disappointing loss the other night a game they led by five with about two and a half minutes to go coming off that kind of Defeat. What is Chicago's approach tonight? Well, Chicago can't worry about the missed opportunity to win game four, but they can learn from it, especially ways to get Michael Jordan better shots if he can be effective. The Bulls need more of Michael in the post, even if he has to back it in. He can get his own shot against anybody or find one for a teammate. And more of this, set that pick for Jordan. It creates driving space. Utah has trouble defending pick and roll just like everybody else. And get him on the move where he has a chance to get fouled. No free throw attempts in game four for Jordan. And all the Bulls are taking and missing too many jump shots. Not enough offensive rebounding. Just under 10 a game as Dennis Rodman continues to flounder. Now for Chicago to pull off a win here tonight in Utah. Not only does Michael Jordan have to be special while he's not feeling very well, but the rest of the Bulls will have to elevate their game as well. As for the Utah Jazz who have been on fire the last uh, two games, they've certainly turned things around. Uh, Bill, you look back over the course of the illustrious career of John Stockton. There have been many uh, magnificent games, but Sunday night here in Game 4 was a defining moment for John Stockton. Marv, it all crystallized for John as he emphatically reminded us that more than anything else, it's a mental game. But John Stockton has not been alone as the entire Jazz team has responded since they returned here to Utah. Now, the offense has found itself. They're getting to the line and making them their they're passing the ball, they're pounding the glass. But in the end, for Utah, their championship dream always comes down to Carl Malone. After a very passive start, he's returned to the physical game. He needs to realize just how much better he is than every single member of this bull front line. And when they get in his way, hey, knock him down, and if necessary, step on their face. Now, while everybody else has been throwing the petals, the rose petals at the feet of Michael Jordan, the view from here is this is Carl Malone's night. He has to show the world just how great a player he is. Marv, the Jazz, they have to win the night if their dream is going to come true. As we get set for game five between the Chicago Bulls and the Utah Jazz. After more on these two clubs, let's check in with the Dean, Ahmad Rashad. All right, thanks, Marv. At 3.30 this morning, Michael Jordan woke up with flu-like symptoms. He had a stomach ache and a headache, and he couldn't go back to sleep. He threw up all night, and as reported earlier, he missed the shoot-around, but he was in bed all day and continued to throw up. As a matter of fact, he got in here early. When I went to talk to him back in the back room, he was in a dark room trying to get some rest, but, but still throwing up. 
and Marv, I talked to him. I said, how do you feel? He said, I really feel horrible. But his history in games where he's either been hurt or sick has been bad news for the opponent. And as you can see, he's ready to go tonight. Marv? All right, thanks, Ramon. And the Utah Jazz control the tip. Bill Oaks, Sue Evans, Dan Crawford are the officials. The question is, how long can Jordan go and how will... Uh, Phil Jackson spot him during the course of the game. Nice pass by Lowe. With the first bucket of the game. With his family in Atlanta following the death of his father. His dad died last week after a long battle with throat cancer. Bill Oaks caught him at three seconds. Allen. Too far out of his range there. I just don't think Carl had any idea what the shot clock was. And Jordan trying to slip it. And then took it back and hit so Michael Jordan, despite physically shaken by the flu symptoms, connecting from the tie of the game at two. But Ron Harper's defense on John Stockton will be critical for the ball. Ulster tag had it knocked away. Jordan to the crossover and lost it. The play by Longley to break up. That uh, lead pass attempt stopped it over. Yes. Veteran players, veteran coaches, these refs are going to let the guys on the court decide it. Hopper was called for that foul. Yes, yes and Again, it all comes from the pass by John Stockton. So now you're going to start saying that Dennis is a disciplined player? I didn't say that. <laughs> well, you said it was careless. That's Matt, be very careful <laughs> of the clever question. Marv, Utah's got the quick start that they needed to keep the crowd into it. And Michael Jordan able to line drive it home for his second field goal. The weather, but still out there giving an effort, getting high in the air as he goes to the baseline for the jumper, then comes up short, and this is the leg showing a little effect. Never got a good look at the basket there, and this time coming off under control, getting high in the air once again as Michael trying to find his offense. But Michael's the only guy doing anything. He's got their only points in the game. Everybody else standing around. Somebody's got to get a grip. This is an ugly offensive start for Chicago. Can I put it in the 70s or low 80s? Stockton got the stick. Jordan being played by Russell. Hopper for three. Yes. Ron Hopper from downtown. It. Ball knocked away by Malone, but able to recover. And there is the first bucket for Stanton Anderson. The Jazz up by three. Pippen trying to protect it. Oster tag with a good play. And here comes Isley. Isley for Malone. They're on their feet here at the Delta Center. Shot clock at four. Morris. Yeah. Carl continues to favor the outside shot as Kukos has no clue what's going on. Here's Morris. Well, Chris Morris has also been a contributor in the series to the air use the glass. A 14-1 run by the Jazz. Brian Williams. Nice move by Williams. Jordan hit a couple early. Nothing since. It's been forced, forced play, forced play. Utah's defense, very sharp. Play. Well, I said they wanted to keep John Bushler on the floor for the first time, and he's defending. On Mars, here's Malone. Yes. A strong finish. And he says that the injured left foot is feeling better. Still uh, cannot penetrate. And we're down to five seconds in the quarter. Nicely for Malone. Six ten seconds remaining in the quarter. Now Pippen fires. Fiery start for the Utah Jazz. It's the Jazz 29 and the Bulls. B.A. on in.
Utah, 11 of 19 from the field in a uh, red hot opening quarter. Chicago just 5 of 15. Michael Jordan is back, putting the move on Chris Mars. So Jordan has six points, three of six. John Stockton is back, as is Jeff Hornacek. Malone up front with Foster and Mars. The basket will count. And the foul. Well, Michael Jordan coming out, resting the last couple of minutes of that first quarter, just a little right to left move to easily shake Chris Mars. But then Carl Malone comes right back. Stockton gets tied up with Kerr right there. They call the foul there on Steve Kerr. Now Kukoc posting up. Jordan off the fake. Cal would have. He'll go to the line. First guard on the perimeter. Who in a rare occasion did not go to the free line, free throw line at all the other night. Only the, uh, the second time in his postseason career. That he went in a time. Terrible pass. Well, John Stockton with a rare mistake. Draws the foul. And that pick and roll has been very good to Utah, almost so much that they forgot to go. Michael Jordan has had to carry so much of the load as Hornacek back to back horrible turnovers for Utah. And Jordan puts moves on Hornacek. Tony Kukoc just ran over from the weak side just to get the ball out of Stockton's hands. You can see Utah scrambling now. Nice big. Hornacek puts it away. That's his first field goal. Kukoc for three. And this is the best spurt of the night by the ball. Hornacek just throws one away. Harper gets it, and then this is a helpless situation. Jordan is going to score on any three guys guarding him there. Yeah, Jordan finding Longley. And the Jazz now leading by just nine. Jordan shoveled to Harper over the Pippen. And Scotty Pippen went glass. The 16-point lead has been cut to seven. Evans came over to uh, join Dan Crawford because uh, Stockton and Parker were pushing on the lineup. Jordan to the crossover. Yes. Not bad for a guy playing with uh, <laughs> flu symptoms. But give Utah some credit. They forced him left every single time. Jordan's going to score 30 or 40 points. There's no question about that. And as Malone made his move, he was sitting down. Dennis Rodman hearing it from the crowd as he checks back in. Here's Stockton. Now Stockton has a three of four. He has seven. It's Utah by seven. We're halfway through the second quarter. Dennis Rodman a little bit more reluctant about taking those outside shots. Pippen able to go glass. Phil Jackson has been upset about the shot selection among other activities of Dennis Rodman. Why not? Dennis, not a good offensive player by choice. Carl Malone trying to deliver and does. And claiming that he was hacked by Rodman, did not get the call. The Jazz 42 and the Bulls 35. Malone has 13. Bulls have made their last six shots. Here's a mismatch. Watersack got help. Pippen off the fake, dumped it off to Longley. Yes, and it counts. Oh, nice basketball by Luke Longley. First of all, when it went into Pippen originally, there went Greg Ostertag for the double team. Longley did the right thing, just following in his heels. Pippen couldn't get it to him, so he went away. And then he came back again. And it's a for big men cutting to that open area, presenting a big target for that player that is double teamed. What once was a 16-point lead is down to three. Ostertag! Ostertag using the ball off the mismatch. And a foul as Jordan made his cut. Antoine Carr. Because Michael has been taking the ball in the basket, drawing some fouls. The officials are used to seeing that. And, of course, you've got the Jazz in the penalty. Put the pressure on them. Michael Jordan, his percentage of the points during the season, coming up and in the finals.
having to carry that load and along with Scottie Pippen really the only two guys who can say that they've been doing it. Well, in particular with uh, the way Chicago's offense has dipped as the fi as the finals have progressed uh, as the playoffs and the steal by Jordan. Putting behind the back on Russell he turned it around and sent it to Pippen. Jordan. Well, Chicago is in that mode now. Any mistake made by Utah, long rebound, steal. They are getting out and flying. Off the double team, bad shot, fired it up. And the Bulls actually have a chance to take the lead. They're in the midst of a 23 8 run. Jordan with a moves on and a foul. Well, on Stockton was trying to draw the charge in all kinds of trouble tries to Dennis Rodman flop doesn't get the whistle there Jordan's in the line <laughs> Utah at one point led 36 20 three minutes into the second Stockton's got to take over here without Antoine Carr without Carl Malone he's got to be the offense sets it up for Mars for three With the rebound. One minute to go in the first half. Kukos for three. Yes. Tony Kukos. Foster. Michael Jordan is not feeling it. It's obvious on his face yet. Playing critically. The Jazz by two. 20 seconds remaining in this first half. And Chicago will hold for a final shot of the half. Jordan played by Russell. Here's Jordan putting the move on. Rashad back at the Delta Center. A little update on Michael Jordan as he walked by me coming out to warm up for the second half. I asked him how he felt, and it was the first time I had seen a smile on his face, but the smile was looking back at me like, are you kidding? I am really sick. I asked Chip Shaver, the trainer, he said he's exhausted, totally dehydrated, and a little bit out of it. Let's go down to Jim Gray. All right, thanks, Ahmad. Well, I'm told by the Jazz players that Jerry Sloan really threw a tirade at halftime, screaming at them, unhappy that they were up 16 and then lost the lead. Said we'd need more defense, transition, keep them off the boards. Says we shaky fast break by Michael. The Bulls there actually rearranged his shot while in the air. It was the fast break of Chicago in the second quarter. And Brian Russell able to knock down a three. Then we're just underway in the third quarter. Longley got the stat. Strong move. Holster tag up front. Here's Malone getting inside. Carl Malone with 15. Shot clock now to five. Pippen played by Hornacek. Yes. Uh -huh. Scotty Pippen has 12. The Jazz up by three. Michael. Hornacek. Yes. But Utah standing, they're not cutting, they're not setting the screens, and Harper's doing a much better job than John Stockton in the third here. Oh, the chip by Longley. Oster tag, so huge defensively, forcing misses. Stockton back door. Oh, and Stockton providing. And you look at the plus minus for Carl Malone when he's in the game. The Utah Jazz have been unbeatable. Dennis Rodman with his first field goal in three games. Well, it's a scary thought to the note being nice. Travel on Jordan. Bill Oaks with the call, and the ball will go back to the Jazz. 
Wow, Michael Jordan unhappy with this pass by Ron Harper. And the Jazz not able to get to their offensive glass. Ostertag was great. Carl Malone's got the three fouls. Has to play very smart here. Nice pass. Jordan to the cutting Longley. And the Utah lead is down to two. Oh, the best job by Luke Longley all series long of moving without the ball. When the double team comes, finding that lane, finding the open seam, and finishing. Stockton's going to cut off right here. Rodman does not even touch him. Little, little stagger there. A little bit of acting right there. My mistake there, Dennis. Whoa, a rare moment for uh, our friend Bill Walton. I should say a rare public moment. There are many private. Thank apologies. you, Mark, for clarifying. Yes. That. Looking for the tip. Chicago down by two. Jordan got the step. Jordan has tied the game at 63. Yes, it has come down to a best of three series. The Bulls do have, still do have a home court advantage. Oh. Plus two. And Chicago hosts the tag with 11 points and words between Carl Malone and Brian Williams at the aftermath to the basket by Ostertag. Technical fouls being handed out by Bill Oaks. Well, Brian Russell went up to shoot that basketball, and I think Luke Longley took his eye off it, the defender, and that left Ostertag wide open. Luke Longley, who has been playing well, falls asleep at low left of your screen. Oh, gee, forearm shiver by Brian Williams. Walking away, and Williams keeps talking. As he checks back in, replacing Luke Longley. Longley, 10 points on 5 of 5 from the field. Only four rebounds. Shot clock. Brian Williams. Oh, he enjoyed that one. A little stare from Brian. Russell from Blue. Yes. Back in Salt Lake City, I look at Michael Jordan. You see the ice bag being applied to the uh, the back of the neck of of Michael, who has been exhausted right from the start, playing with what are being called flu-like symptoms. Dennis Rodman just picked up a uh, fifth foul a, a moment ago, and he's been playing well in this third quarter. So Rodman sitting down, replaced by Jason Caffey. Kerr for three. And that's the end of the third quarter. Comes off the mark on that last second attack. Three quarters complete here in Salt Lake City. Here in Salt Lake, after these messages from your local station, you are watching the NBA on NBC. Guys, many questions concerning this particular group of Chicago Bulls. Win or lose uh, this series, and for Chicago, it's their fifth finals appearance the past seven seasons. Well, no matter what happens tonight, Friday, or Saturday, this is still a championship-caliber team. And so why change anything? I don't think there's any question that Scotty Pippen, Michael Jordan, Phil Jackson will be back. However, Dennis Rodman will not be. If your motivation is money, you break it up now and you start looking. If your motivation is to keep something special going, let them play as long as they want. They're all willing to play on one-year contracts. And I just think that this team, with the exception of Dennis Rodman, will be back primarily intact next year. And as the fourth quarter gets underway, Brian Williams called for the foul. But still many questions concerning Phil Jackson, who has made it clear that he would accept a one-year deal once again, although there's been so much speculation about that, and Michael Jordan and Scottie Pippen. Well, I think Phil Jackson wants to ride it out as long as Michael Jordan primarily is part of the Bulls, and as long as Jordan and Jackson are there, that means Scottie Pippen will be there. There's only one other coaching job open, that's the Vancouver Grizzlies, who supposedly have an offer out to Phil. I don't see him taking that under any conditions. I see him taking a year year off before he does that. He'll be back in Chicago. But still, there is, there is the question concerning Michael Jordan. Could he be playing his final games as a member of the Chicago Bulls? We're talking win or lose here. Ryan Williams. It is 
2 2 right now. In this game number five, as Michael Jordan cuts it to a five point. Antoine Carr. And here is Chris Carr's <laughs> and, and that'll buy Carl Malone another 30 seconds or another minute. Mars with 8 11 points off the back. The Jazz 77 and the Bulls 71 with two minutes gone by in the fourth quarter. Are you talking about him leaving Marvin, not playing anymore? He's having the time of his life out there. Well, we we oh, talked about that with him uh, the other day. And I said, could you actually sit out next year? He claimed he could. Uh, uh, whether he's just positioning, we don't know. Jordan with the rebound. Jordan pops it down to Kuko. Kuko for three. Yes. Well, of course, this is not as much fun as baseball. No way. The Jazz leading by three. Well, Tony Kuko might as well only take three-point shots. That's all he's made in the last two games for Chicago. Paul's pass broken up. And Pippen able to come up with it on the deflection. Jordan. Yes. And he's tied the game at 77. And he he's got his team tied now. <laughs> Where is that bench? He gets there and sits back. And oh. <laughs> they put the ice bag on his neck. He won't even take the Gatorade. He doesn't. Russell on Jordan. Anderson cheating over. Shot clock at seven. Jordan shooting. Yes. Chicago 79 and Utah 77. With this cut across by Michael getting open, wants to really drive, but not a good enough spacing by the rest of the Chicago Bulls. But just that little shake was able to get Brian Russell on his heels. Russell for three. Brian Russell with his third three pointer in. Stockton became entangled. They've had a very physical matchup these past couple of games. Well, John Stockton and Steve Kerr, as Kerr got his marching orders from Phil Jackson to be more physical, oh, and that's very tough against the little John Stockton. All Kerr could do was take Stockton down. Never really played above the rim on the defensive end. Aaron Jordan's trying to go blast. Pippen could not convert on the rebound. Carlson for Russell on the wing. He had uh, stopped it on the other side, but did not see him. We're down to three minutes and 20 seconds to go in the fourth. The game tied at 81. Malone played by Rodman and double team. Pippen up to the side. Pickock recovered though. Stopped it for three. Shot off to be determined with these two foul shots. On is four of seven at the line. You see the, the stats on Rodman in 23 minutes, seven rebounds, only one field goal, two points. He's been replaced by Tony Kukoc. That's that lack of discipline we were talking about early in the game with Dennis Rodman when he picked up a couple of cheap fouls. If you get Carl Malone to take that fadeaway shot, you have to be happy. Just go up and challenge it. You never want to foul on that shot. Utah with a two-point lead. 2.25 remaining in the fourth. The champ of MVP for Carl Malone. Oh, he barely caught the left side of the rim. Well, fading back and falling back, but he did that the other night and still made one. Carl Malone's guarding Tony Kukos. This is a very difficult matchup for him. Tony, incredibly smart. Got clock at five. And a foul. Called on the jab. It's goes now 18 of 26 
at the line. So they will certainly have their chances as opposed to the other night. Coach able to rescue. Come back to Jordan. He's clapping for it. Chicago trailing by one. Just under two minutes. Remaining in the four. The Jazz with a one-point lead. Wallacek at the step. Stockton for three. And they stop by Russell. They get the new 24. And Stockton checking with, with Jerry Sloan. Utah good shape in terms of timeouts. Three out of 20 remaining. Shot clock at 10. Stepping back for the fairway. Big shot that is handled by Pippen. There was plenty of time on the 24. And Phil Jackson calling for a pick and roll. Obviously, Michael Jordan to be the ball handler. Now to 50 seconds. Here's Longley with the pick. There's Jordan. Foul. Hit on a reach in. And you can... Just look at the body language on, on Michael Jordan. You get the idea he's having difficulty just standing up. But Ostertag saves the day here as the defense broke down. Carl Malone with plenty of time on the shot clock. He can beat Luke Longley. He's fading away there. He's fading on his baseline shot from down low. He's fading on his free throws. Utah needs a timeout. Jerry Sloan needs to tell Carl Malone to go to the hoop. A look from overhead of the Delta Center, Salt Lake City, Utah, Marv Albert, Matt Kukas, Bill Walton, Bob Rashad, Jim Gray. Utah has won 23 straight at home. Tannado at home in the playoffs. You see the timeouts remaining. Michael Jordan playing despite flu symptoms. Has been able to hang in looking exhausted right from the opening tip. And he's headed to the line for two shots. Nine of ten at the line. All the free throws. An 83% free throw shooter during the season. And the game is tied at 85. Barb, the Bulls have been here so many times. The huge games year after year. The confidence, the poise, the determination. The discipline and organization down the stretch. All paying off right now with Jordan masterfully at the line. Jordan able to scoop up the loose ball for the possession with 40 seconds remaining. The game tied at 85. Ten on the shot clock. Pippen backing on a set. There's Jordan. Yes! Michael Jordan from straight away. Like he's a, a, a boxer just hanging on along the ropes, but able to hit for a three point Chicago lead. Beautiful feed. Oster tag cuts it to one. You got a foul right now. You got a foul. Carl Malone, what are you doing? We're down to 10 seconds. You got a foul. As they open the floor, Luke Longley able to put it home for Tony Kukoc. Three point Chicago lead with six and two tenths seconds to go in the fourth quarter. It's hard to believe that you can lose track of time and score as Carl Malone did there, right next to Pippen. He does have five fouls. No excuse. Should have committed one there. Michael Jordan playing on heart and spirit. The missed free throw here. Everybody's standing there. And then the furthest guy from the ball, Michael Jordan, comes up with it. And then he backs it out. They post up Scotty. And then, for no reason, they double-team Scotty down low and leaving Michael Jordan. He knocks down this three, gives him the huge lead, and then the total exhaustion on the bench. Michael Jordan sucking air, got the back massage from Scottie Pippen. I think Chicago just fouls right here, makes it a free throw game the rest of the way. Now to six and two ten seconds remaining in this fourth quarter. Here's the three point attempt. Right now Scott can try to back it up. And we get a whistle of two tenths of a second remaining. Now, both teams are over 
the lane. And the foul is called on the Bulls. So Utah to the line. Foul on Pippen. And the strategy here is obvious. The ball's up by three. You got to hit the first and purposely miss the second and uh, hope for the best. Uh, and you can't score on a tip. And I, I was thinking Chicago would foul on the inbounds pass to give up the free throws rather than give Stockton or Hornacek or Russell a look at a three pointer. Mm -hmm. I think you got to come with Oster tag the height here to tip over the top on a miss. They don't need to have Hornacek in it. Jeff Hornacek on a two of 11 from the field. He had that three point opportunity going for the tie. Both coaches making decisions now. John Stockton to the line, but only two tenths of a second remaining. There will be no catch and shoot follow up. First of all, John Stockton has to make the first one to give Utah any kind of chance at all, but you can score on a tip. Positioning at the line after this first free throw will be critical. Stockton not able to hit and that will do it because they're three points down and now he hits the second two tenths of a second remaining the inbounds and the Chicago Bulls have defeated the Utah Jazz to take a three games to two lead they win it 90 to 88 a courageous classic performance by the flu ridden Michael Jordan Today was unbelievable, you know, and his teammates, we really appreciate the way that he steps up and shows his leadership for our ball club. I didn't want to give up, you know, no matter how sick I was, or how tired I was, or how, you know, low on energy I was, I felt an obligation, you know, to my team, to the city of Chicago to go out and give that extra effort.